from um, when I left being a saw detective yeah, for a year. The reason I left there was because I've been looking for other jobs, yeah. Um, not for any particular reason. I didn't particularly want to work in retail, albeit of a saw detective nature, so... I've been looking. I've been toying with the idea of moving to London, but that never came through. Or Brighton. So, I applied for a job at the University of Derby. Yeah, to be uh, a clerk. It was to the lowest level grade. Yeah, in what was called their student administration department. Yeah, every university's got one. You got to, ain't you? Really, you got to have some admin behind you. So, um, go to this interview. A week or so later, get a call, and I've got the job. So September, nineteen ninety nine. Fairly certain. Yeah, that's right. September ninety nine. We had that eclipse thingy, didn't we? Um, I was there. So you can't wear a tracksuit, <laughs> and. Um, <laughs> A body warmer and run after thieves in Derby at this place. So I had to go out and um, buy like worky stuff. Obviously, stuff I thought to be obviously. And I didn't like, look it up in text. Oh, that looks like it goes in the office. No, what the other I can. What did I buy? I brought a load of blouses. I've done teaching, ain't I? So it's a similar thing. Yeah, blouses, different colours, and that. Some trousers, like smart trousers, and some tailored trousers, shoes, not trainers, and some skirts and tights and blah blah. So I needed all of that to start this job. Five days worth, really, because you're there every day, ain't you? So I do that, and it was quite good fun. It wasn't, it wasn't hard, it wasn't tax. I didn't find it hard work, really. So you had your own desk. This is when I was a clerk, yeah. And uh, get so many administrative tasks to do. My role specifically at that time was dealing and working with all the assignments that students had handed in. So they would present at a desk at a certain their deadlines, didn't they? So it had to be in 12 o'clock, I don't know, 12th of April. Got to be in everyone on mass, for example. Had to have an assignment in at 12 on that day. So one of my jobs, we did it, we took it in turns, was receiving these assignments, logging it so we could demonstrate to the student we've got it, you've got a receipt that you've handed it in, yeah. Um, and then physically, because they were physically storing them for the student, so the tutor could rock down at their leisure and uh, pick them up, take them away, mark them. I can't remember if we passed I don't think we did pass them back on, no. not not. don't think we did. But, so that was that one. And six or so months later, not long, I became an ad... I was a clerk, then I was an admin assistant, yeah, so the grade higher, yeah, to get more money and... I think it was within that department again. The student administration, more more or less the, uh, so you're running the front desk. So like, all any student normally with a typical presentation question would come in. So they go, "Hello, my student loan ain't come through," and you go, "All right, you'll need to do this, this, and this." Or, uh, "Can you tell me about bus passes, please?" As I say, uh, assignments, that sort of thing. Yeah. Anyway. A year or so goes past, if that, and a position for a senior admin assistant comes up, yeah. And these are quite rare. You tend to be a clerk, lower level, admin, loads of them, yeah. And you've got a senior admin, and then it goes to deputy admin, and then department manager, yeah. So not many of there was by, I don't know. Maybe six departments working within this open plan office, yeah. And the senior role 
was within the admissions department, which deals specifically with UCAS. That's it, exclusively with UCAS. Um, so I have my interview. I can't remember how old was I. 24, 25, something like that. Not very old, really, looking back. And I get it. Get it, hands down. Job's yours, do you want it? All right, why not? It's more money, ain't it? And you get to boss people around. <laughs> You're a boss. Everyone's got to treat you as a boss, yeah. And when they're not there, for example, the deputy or the big boss, yeah. You're the boss. So I do it, yeah. Age 24. As you can imagine, I was very popular. Mm. So, but I wasn't, right? This <laughs> is... So on my team, yeah, hello, I think you all know Rachel, don't you, from this year in the administration department, they're like, this sourpuss old cow, right, <laughs> I'm not going to have a rub, it's <laughs> not really, I'm not, it was quite good, because you got to fuck off to meetings, London, Newcastle, blah, 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 here's your train ticket, like, all right, ta -ra. I hear you're in London today. That's right. Do you want to meet up? Yes, why not? It's all paid for. So it is, you do. You just fuck off and off you get. You have to go to your meeting, obviously. Come back and it's done, ain't it? So, um, that was all. You had to float about a lot. So, you had to go to lots. It was quite an important role. You had to go to lots. Minute taking in meetings, present at meetings, create meetings, run projects, supervise teams. All, but the only thing was, yeah, it was quite poorly paid. I didn't think it was much pay, to be fair, for what we had to do. What we had to do, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, back to the sourpuss, right? So, below Clark's, you got temps. Yeah, I had to run them. So, for every reason, you don't want a permanent job. It's a bit like a zero-hour contract, yeah. Or we need them at specific block time. For example, it was busy during clearing. Get some temps in. Yeah. So she started off as one of these. Yeah. All right. But she stayed on. Now, if I remember rightly. That's right. Uh, next to me there. All right. She was a, a clerk. Never wanted. Never had any aspirations to be anything more. Yeah. But what she was was a judgmental, <laughs> judgmental old cow, right, she was, she was, I'm there going, all right, are you, uh, she was awful, said so her, uh, yeah, deputy opposite, me, the big boss, and then this admin, if, if that's what she was, I can't fucking remember, anyway, <laughs> she's rough as old boots, yeah, oh, I'm not, I'm not, well, I, I'm always well turned out, you know, sashaying in, flicking my straightened hair, having my tuna well prepared salad from home at lunch. Not her, no. The only thing she did commit to every day, and me as well, in fairness, yeah, was having a fag in fag break time, right? The super king, she'd be there with a the Berkeley meant for, right? She would, she would, yeah. And then, of course, in admin. You, you talk, don't you, Well, You're not meant to on my watch. But I did allow it sometimes. You couldn't get away with it. Well, excuse me. No. You could not get away with headphones. You, part, you, you might be able to now, but oh, I could not. I didn't know. I was, I was far too busy anyway. So, um... Yeah, but she watched. She looked sour, right? Short, dyed hair, yeah. Overweight, what a surprise. Yeah, overweight, past menopause, and hateful. She was, she was awful, horrible woman. Yeah. And anyway, I had to be her boss, lucky old me. And um, she didn't like it very much, as I'm sure you can appreciate and imagine. So I'm there, make me desk all I love a bit of stationery, make me desk all nice, yeah. I get to order in the stationery. I'm like, oh, so what colour post-it notes shall we have? <laughs> so I go, you, <laughs> you, you hateful old cow, can have black. Yes, that's right, black, to suit your heart. <laughs> and shit like that. 
And she'd have to tolerate it. Yeah, I don't give a shit what she said about the arm back. I got paid at least two grand more than her. I was better than her at the job. And she had to suck it up. She did. Right? So, people start talking about that. I wish they wouldn't. But by 10 o'clock, I'm like, Jesus, we've covered EastEnders, Coronation Street, whether Emmerdale should still be on. Uh, I've had several... <laughs> I'm just going to drop those assignments at head office. Oh, I've just always had a bag on me. Yeah. Um, and she's still moaning on about what her husband did, yeah, for dinner. <laughs> I'll be like, fuck's sake, man. Anyway, this is how she met her husband. I'll tell you, shall I? I can't care less if she sees his I hope she does. Maybe she'll realise what a spiteful, miserable old cow she really was to work with. Yeah, because she was. Right. She ain't the prettiest of people, so, you know. She isn't. She's not attractive. You wouldn't think, oh, who's that fit bird in your teammate? <laughs> Like, who's that foul face old puss you've got to boss about? Hello, <laughs> like, let me tell you. Jill, her name is. I can tell you all about Jill. Well, I can't remember his fucking husband's name, but... Anyway, she did have one. Yeah. And this is how she met it. <laughs> so, it's only, like, early 2000, 2001, if that. Yeah. And um, they must have been married, I don't know, a couple of years. Turns out he was a student at the university, or had been, something like that, anyway. <laughs> and they'd met, not on a night out, no, not with a pink coconut, no. Um, because they'd both placed independently. A lonely heart ads in the local rag, yeah. <laughs> there was something on Facebook the other day. It's like, <laughs> I don't need a mood ring. I've got a face. <laughs> I'm the smiley dress boss one. <laughs> Anyway, so <laughs> I must get this letter typed. <laughs> ah, so she says, yeah, she's telling us all that she met her love of her life. And I thought that as if he is the love of your life, yeah, whatever. And I'll tell you why. So, A, she ain't Mrs. Attractive, yeah, she ain't. And B, this fella, well, He's never had a girlfriend, and I can't think why. Yeah. He's got... <laughs> and I ain't making it. This is true. Right. He's got... He's definitely got a false leg. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> what I'm trying to remember is whether he had a false eye as well. <laughs> he had a false... He was definitely a leg. But he had other ailments, yeah. So, <laughs> according to her... <laughs> Answer one another through these lonely hearts. Yeah. <laughs> Have a meal, which I imagine he paid for. I can't imagine she go. You know what? <laughs> I like the Spice Girls. Let me pay. I don't think that happened. No, I don't think it did. <coughs> He'll have paid. It been a matter of months. She gets to be a boss of him, not me. No, him. Yeah, so she moves in to his house. Yeah, she she had some cows. Yeah, she ain't gone fuck all. Yeah, and she moves into his house. Yeah, and she's one of these, right? There was some news that they wanted to move. There was no need for him to move. No need to move. This fella had probably been there years. His mum had left it to him, or blah blah blah. He's never had a girlfriend. Only a mum. Gets it. Don't know what he fucking done wrong in the previous life, but it gets her. Yeah, he settled for it. He settled for it. So 
He married he, nobody forced the man, as far as I know, to walk down the aisle and put a ring on her finger. So good luck to you, love. Yeah. Anyway, she's there again. Oh, we want to move. Oh dear, so. And um, we were looking at these Barrett homes. I was like, what is it? Right, so <laughs> did you be like this? I moved my desk, yeah. I moved my desk so I could see them all, see all the cunts I was facing every day. I didn't have my back, no, no, no. But what they couldn't see is that my mobile phone, my little Nokia, was behind them. And you never know guess what she's had next. Right. Um, so, I that right? And they're like, okay, we, we've got aspirations, we have. You see, we don't really live here, 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 and here. And I thought, love, you've got fuck all aspirations. What you are is a judgmental, money-grabbing whore, to be fair, yeah. You ain't never worked. You're a temp. You needed the cash, yeah, for your lecky bill. And here we are, stuck with you, right? Yeah, you married him, married to convince him marriage was the way forward in your life. And now you think because of that, you're going to get a house in a higher aspirational area. And them sort of people are going to welcome you. Good luck. <laughs>